So for this part, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to time lapse looking at the mini lights and trying to figure out what's wrong with them. I think it would be better than sitting here filming the whole time. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. Damn, I was built to last You move slow when I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes Okay, so with how this strap, this uh, set is behaving, I'm gonna make it a 50 string instead of a hundred. The way you do that is you find your meeting point. Like that. Strip the wire. Now, I should probably mention, when you do this, your, your strand becomes an indoor-only set. Or at least it should remain an indoor-only set. I can't find my heat shrink at the moment. So, just for testing purposes, I'm going to use a little bit of duct tape. But before I put these into service, I am going to use either proper electrical tape or I'm going to heat shrink or, or solder and heat shrink these. left still works. Now 
I gotta take a break for a bit because my legs are starting to turn up, up again. I can only sit here for about 40, 45 minutes at a time. Which is exactly why I've started this project now, because this is going to take a while. Well, let's get to work on the rest of these lights. Go, I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Every single day, I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Uh, to the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway, and in the driveway is a nice range. Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain. You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. Uh, they'll see with the negativity, but I just slide right by that. Low, you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran to the no man i still go 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 well unfortunately that didn't work i'm just i'm gonna put them off to the side for now but chances are i'm probably just gonna scrap those ones go go Let's focus on some C7s and C9s. Let's start with the C7s. So I know I've got that set and this set, but I want to focus on the smaller, more kind of indoor focus sets. Like these, which if I remember correctly, this one needs a bulb. Needs two bulbs. Thankfully, somewhere here I should have some spare. Bulbs. There's a tree for me here. Now that's a C9. Can't use that here. These, I think this, or this yellow one actually st should still work. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to move on to some fiber optic trees. I discovered these a couple of years ago and I just really took a look at them. This is a 32 inch unit and it's really so far as well. Put this one in here. Unfortunately, I think I just broke that one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was good or not. Oh, does this bulb not work? Is that bulb bad? Can't be bad, it can it? No, it looks okay. Right, I don't like doing this with the power on, so... Is that just a bad socket, or...? No, that pin might be too far bent down. There. I lifted the pin back up. Let's see if it lights now. There we go. Now it works. So there's one set figured out. I got 
I got some little flasher bulbs here. I don't really want to use these. I paid 99 cents for these at the thrift store. And I've been hanging on to them. Well, I bought them last year with all these lights and I just haven't haven't needed them yet. Now this needs one bulb. Uh what? I think this bulb was already broken. That could have been really bad. I don't think I caught myself. That just, uh, that kind of blew off of my hand. That scared the absolute fuck out of me. Thankfully, I don't think it was any of the nice bolts. This is a loop style set. I have three of the. I don't really hope to use. I can feel it, but I don't think like it actually cut me. Let's see if this one works. Okay. Oh. What? Did this one just burn out now? That one just burned out. Uh, I don't think that one's going to last long. It's the filament's all bouncy in it. Oh my god. C7 sets need bulbs. This one like a complete set. Okay, that one. That's a complete set right there. This one needs some. Um, does this one need any? That one looks to be all complete. And then this one needed a couple. Or at least one. This one. This one might need three, because I think this bulb is shot. I don't think the light bulb is supposed to. I don't think the light the light bulb is supposed to be touch activated. So I got one more frame to look over. a couple newer bulbs out in other sets. Oh wait, now this would be... This is a vintage set, so it can have the older bulbs. It doesn't need the new ones. Well, this is working for that. I can go ahead and replace the bulbs later, but this is not an unreachable growing store. So we'll loop these around the window. We'll see if... Now, if this was like um, one of my outdoor sets, I wouldn't put vintage bulbs in it. So what it is, 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 is one Funny enough, I put all red and blues in this one. Oh, we got one. 
that's going to burn out on this set now. Yep, there it went. Though I think this one is another complete set. So that's another one done. I can put these ones back in the box. Now, I'm going to take one of these strands and I'm going to piece it out. This one has the most bulbs, so we're going to look at this one. This one, all the bulbs in it work, and it needs one, two, three, four, five, six, about six bulbs. I have enough here. No, I'm just going to take all the bolt bulbs to replace some of the other ones in this spring. I'll have to get more bolts for this set. So, I'll place an order after this. Because I need... Those are kind of new. I want the clear ones for something else. There's vintage lights in the window. Vintage lights in the tree. Which leaves me with just a few... Actually, Leftover vintage bulbs. Lights around the doors. I'll show you what I want the clears for in a second. I'll place an order for more bulbs at thousandbulbs.com. Well, okay, this one's about to burn out. This one. This one didn't even work. So. That's a little unfortunate. This one bad or just not wanting to work? That one's burned out. So that needs a bulb. And I need how many for this? Fuck the last trash set.
so that's 25. This one needed a bulb or two, I think. This one needs two bulbs. My phone flashed and scared me. I'm a bit jumpy after that bulb decided it was going to blow up in my hand. And I have one more. Oh, I have a whole other box of C7s. Oh, no, I don't. This is I what I said, it's just my last couple of the modern C7s that I need to, needing to be fixed. If any. Uh, we got one out right here. So with that being the only one out, It's actually a super easy and quick fix. There. I was talking about the five dollar C nines. I was talking about these ones. These are decent quality, though. These are just ones I get it. Um, these are the ones I get at the uh, Canadian Tire. Okay, C nines. I think, it, what was it, this set that's yeah, a little bit iffy? Yeah, because this one's got, got like, tree. bulbs that I assume that are good. The day has finally come. I have purchased a string of True Tone Christmas lights. It's easy enough to figure out if it's the... Before we get into the video, I want to preface two things. Number one, I despise LED lighting. I'm very particular about the lighting I use in my house because I'm sensitive to the flicker and whatever that the LEDs have. Most LED lighting gives yeah, me a headache. Yeah, it's the sockets the that are bad. It's very obvious to me. I can't use it. I don't like the coloring of it. I don't like nothing it's about it. Bad. So if I find these lights to be acceptable. And There's that socket say bad too. Anybody will find these lights to be acceptable. And the second thing is, regardless of whether or not I end up liking this, that socket might be an issue. I as love well. the concept of this, and I wish there was more companies that would take the LED lighting technologies yeah, see, that and bulb use works. it to try to replicate the products that we all have, know, and love from years past. So I, I just got this today. So I think this will be a part a set of right here. Being a small company, somebody took the time to write and handwritten my name on there, so you know that a person probably handed this and packed it on the machine. I got some cool tape on there, True Tone bulbs. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like. Okay. I'm very excited to see these because. I have not found, and this is why I, I pushed off buying uh, I don't want to open that one until I have to. I know I've got. I've got to talk about the LED issues and how these a few more and so forth. Spare bulbs here. And you even saw in the video, you really I want to. I want to empty this package out before I start another one. Piece of this pack of paper. Not, um, 
I think this ball was a little bit loose, could have just came on. Is it a sticker? No, I need one more here. I think it is. One here and one at the end. That's cool. Okay. We're going to take this screwed up Noma the jewel tone. Okay, wasn't that cheap? Or whatever it's called. Okay. 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 Going to glue them, some plastic film, nothing like that. The bulbs are good. So that's now another set fixed. This I'm is getting long off the case. Just six watts. <laughs> that's crazy. Now this should be my other brand new, literally just unboxed set. So obviously all these work and these ones still look really nice. I would be, I'd be very disappointed if those ones were already broken. Now here's this one, it's missing a bulb. I don't have any of these bulbs put in these ones. Alright, let's open this up and plug it in. I think this is the same situation. But, other than missing one bulb, all the bulbs on this one work. We got more information on the inside here. 45,000 hour lifespan. Here's like my last set. It appears says all the right stuff. This set only needs one bulb. Let's see if it's true. Are we supposed to take these out of the box? I think that they should slide out. There. Yeah. So that's all my C9s, bricks and C7s. The only thing I'm bothered by about this box is it has like a wax feel to it. If this was paper, like the old fashioned boxes, to me that would have been better. Now, I'm not giving up on this set. Alright, so here's the lights themselves. The bulbs, while they're off, look like the old bulbs. Got the cool red and green wire. That's neat. Go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and clean these ones up. Okay. These are really flickery to me. It's too bad because the color is wrapped. Each bulb, the color of each bulb is. I don't know if I'm gonna. Good. Well, I'm gonna pull. These are super Let's pull all the bulbs to tonight. You can probably see back the sockets. I don't know if I'm gonna start the cleaning them today. Yep. Oh man. Yikes. Because it's yeah, like one one thirty in the morning right now, and I'm getting a little that tired. The ending on the camera, those those black lines going across. That's a result of the refresh oh, rate of the bulbs. Oh, I can tell you that right now. Yeah, oh wait, what? Me, see, these have a horrible flicker to them. Um, no, the bulb's not shot, so we'll have to inspect that one. They're all close together like this, so let's take them out of the box. I think this was a set that was like on someone's tree or on their house or something. These were definitely outdoor lights. And these probably have been outside since the, the 80s or 90s when these were manufactured. I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised because they, they even admit on the website 
It was based off the plug design, which what you really need in order to get it's a little bit different from the other Noma ones because the other ones are black and these ones are green. Plugs. Well, I guess they're about the same age. And just all the corrosion just kind of gives it away that these are a little bit old. Like, if I get the set working, it's going to be an outdoor set, basically. Like, where, where am I going with that? So this is like a the flicker becomes a lot so less. This one's intense. really bad. You corrode it. You've got a small tree to throw it on. Alright, just put a couple on this tree here. And when they're spread out and up on the tree and whatever, the flickering is not as noticeable, but it is still there. If we zoom into this hole here, you'll see the, the banding come across the screen again. Yeah, this will be an easy fix, but I'm going to have to take a break for a bit. My legs are getting sore from sitting on the floor well, again. Unfortunately, Definitely do have a flicker to me. See that banding in the middle? That's so I'll take a short break and I might come back to that. And like, yeah, why I have an idea for testing the little mini lights. Take You got a mind, but even that could change you could Gray matter like some batter in your brain. Uh, that's why to say, fake it till you make it, a. Eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. Rearrange all the bad to okay. Take the worst I say and turn them to a game. Take the best I say and put them on display. On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain. Uh. Never slow yourself down, you can do some more. Push past, start a pain, and you'll find a door. Open it up and finally explore everything that you thought you could never do before. Uh. You know, it should probably also be mentioned, these, um, these icicle sets and almost everything but the C7s and C9s here, so most of my mini lights, other than the brand new sets, either came from the garbage or the thrift store. With that information, a lot of these are unknown sets. Like I know some of these worked, I knew that this one here, half of it worked. But, and I know that the set that's pieced together that I was trying to fix, it's right there. I forgot that I don't use that set because of the way it looks. Like it's pieced together, so I don't use that one. So I might actually rebuild that set there instead. Every year it's looking more and more beneficial to get the Light Keeper Pro. I'm going to go look one up online and see how much they are. Okay, so I'm sure we've all seen the video from Electro Boom at this point. It looks 1980s or... Let me turn that down. Early 90s perhaps to me. So... Uh, well, You don't wanna fuck with me Don't wanna test your luck with me Cause if you try to fuck with me 
I'll take all your body parts to a fucking graveyard. Six feet. I'm ostracized and traumatized by everything I'm not. Alright, I'm lost inside and anything I say, you better listen up closely. Mostly, I'm the one and only. Bring it home slowly. Hand your boy the trophy. Patience is holy. Moly, I got him hating on me like Michael hates Toby. Force like I'm Obi. You know the one Kenobi. Force fed baloney by phonies. Just wanna rule the world. Call me Mr. Steel Girl. Easy gave me the referral. Now he's worried about a gel. Yeah, coming out strong. I've been here for a long time. Started off online. Finish off all time. Like Hold on, that damn thing fucking hurts after a bit. These might just have to wait till I get my light keeper pro. We'll see. I gotta take a break though. You call me crazy cause I rap like I got rabies. I'm confident, I'm lazy, and I'm dominating lately. She want me like some pastries, I'ma give it to these ladies like I'm Hefner in my 80s. Still, I'm pushing up days. Don't wanna fuck with me. Don't wanna test your luck with me. Cause if you try to fuck with me. I'll take all your body parts to a fucking graveyard. Six feet don't wanna fuck with me. Don't wanna test your luck with me. Cause if you try to fuck with me, I'll take all your body parts to a fucking graveyard. Six feet. I can taste it, I'm fading. Why am I still waiting? What are y'all debating? It's really irritating. You hear what I'm saying? Well, no wonder that fucking set wasn't working. That's all burned out. That's all good like those have zero continuity at all those ones have continuity that doesn't mean the bulbs are good but it means that there's continuity between them those ones have nothing so they're open circuit so i get to go through and replace all those bulbs or zap them or something i'm gonna try zapping one real quick Has continuity now. Nope. This might not be strong enough. Oh, wait. I'm just gonna replace the bulbs. Get fear, got him shaking. You won't ever find a fucker like me. In the make it bite me, and you'll break him. Your teeth will be faking. I don't need to be patient, man. I breed entertainment from the streets, not the basement. No, see, I've been baking like your mama's casserole. She makes me. I turn on the radio when you hear some shit. Your throat all slit. If you don't post this, and I won't be missed. Hell no, I'm pissed. I'm the only rapper in this game for shit. I go it on my own, don't need nobody's help. I do it all alone. I'ma do it by myself All these lyrics on my own You won't put me on the shelf Every punch that I throw I can send your rest to hell Better run don't bitch wanna now fuck with me Don't wanna test your luck with no, me you don't wanna fuck with Cause me. if you try to fuck with me right. I'll take all your body parts To a fucking graveyard Six feet you don't wanna you fuck down. with me you Don't wanna test your luck with me you Cause yeah. if you try to fuck with me I'll take all your body parts To a fucking graveyard Six feet underground Well, now I get to go through and check all the bulbs. Uh, not check all the bulbs, but like put them in and see if it works. Well, you saw I got half of it working, but I just broke the thing. Have to look at that again. Okay, so I got this, I'm winning. I'm not a quitter, so I'm not fucking quitting. Just try to stop me and no 
drop dead missing oh. I'm on my way to the top now listen I ain't never gonna stop too driven I ain't never getting lost got vision I'ma make this shit hot ignition Check, don't give me facts stop fiction Okay, so being overused and going to change light. That's the one that I found the rest of my lights. I'm still missing a red set, but this should be mostly the rest of them. That's how it works. I'm not an engine person, which makes this really easy for me because it has an app that's basically telling me. If something's wrong, and then I know what to do. I think this is another one of those so purple ones for Halloween. Get it started again. Turn this on. See, controller right here. Ah, uh, this is all mess, isn't it? So this is eco mode. Then we turn it up to full. So this is full power right here. Now we turn it to eco mode. Separate set from this. This is a small set of. So now that the generator is running, you can save power on many different batteries. And I'm going to go through some of these real quick. I did a whole video specifically on them, so you can watch that. But we just got power back yesterday, so we made it six days without power. But over the time since I filmed the intro and now, we have little LED ones that I'm tugging on right now. Right these don't matter. North Carolina and these and are uh, breaking to see. Um, a broken I set of battery operated ones. And a medical helicopter just flew over from the army and they Probably have been shouldn't. non-stop delivering. Probably shouldn't have that on while I'm filming, should I? I don't know how YouTube is taking everything that happened over there. I'd rather not have my video taken down for a sensitive topic. That untangled. No, I think I got one more set to untangle. Test each set as well. There. So the set you see here, these are my uh, kind of programmable set. It's got a bunch of splices in the cable, and just overall, it's not great. Like right here, you can see there's a there's a splice right here. There's a splice right there. And those are just really beat up. Yikes. And then this is a set of blue ones. Incandescent, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to touch those. Those are LED. Get these out of here. All jokes aside, though, uh, these are some blue... These are some blue LEDs, and the only reason I have these is because these came in a bag at the thrift store with a set of incandescent lights I want. Then here is a very vintage set of uh, what was originally yellow, but now they're kind of a yellow and they're and a um, yellow and white light set. And I say they're very vintage because from what I've been hearing online, these kind of plugs right here these are like 80s, people are saying. These were made in Taiwan. These are some bizarre voltage bulb, because there's like, uh, I forget, but it comes out, if it's like a two and a half volt bulb, it comes out to 100 volts. So I think these are probably three volt. And right here we've got a little bit of an older set, just based off the circular plug here. I don't know, 90s, maybe early 2000s, white LEDs, and incandescent. And then, then <coughs> another set, whoops, that's not, 
part of the lights. This is another one of them purple sets, so we're going to test each set out. And we're going to see if they work still. This goes out of my way. So the purple ones, about half work. And it's only drawn about 17 lots. These are not Christmas though, these are Halloween, so they're not going to get used in this video. So here's the vintage set. And, uh oh. Uh, that, oh, okay. I see the problem here. We're missing a light bulb. Of course, that's not going to work just jamming a bulb in there. Why would that work? That doesn't fit. I got to find in here base that'll fit. Uh, that one's a little loose. Come on. I gotta have a base that fits this. It's, that's too tight, so I might have to go might have to go a little bit loose. Unless I can find a base that fits really well. I remember that being a problem with these lights is Oh, there we go. I think I no, that's not going to work either. So I'm going to have to go a little bit loose on the ends of it. Which is okay. I can just take the bolt down. But. No, I don't know. Is this a. Uh, failure of the bulb that I was trying, or is that the failure of the socket? Like, not, not the socket, but like, is there another issue underneath somewhere? Okay, that bulb doesn't work. That bulb does work. So, in theory, if I put this bulb in here, sorry, I'm very shaky for some reason. Oh, I put it in the wrong base. Where'd that come from? Oh, now there's another bolt missing. Ironically, the other bolt that popped out is actually the wrong size bulb as well. the wrong size base. Okay, I know these ones fit and work because that's what that other bolt that just fell out is. And sure enough, it works now. Other than we have the yellow one down here that's gone bad. Okay. Either gone bad or shorted, so I'm gonna take it apart. And thankfully, I think it was just a short. Because like, I actually look forward to using this set this Christmas, as these were not working last year. I picked the, this set up. I don't know, maybe that bulb is bad. Uh oh.
Did it just burn out? Oh, no, we got a bad connection. Okay. They use about 20 watts. 22 watts. Which doesn't sound entirely unreasonable to me. I wish they looked a little prettier than light bulbs just being duct taped into their sockets at this point, but what am I going to do about it? Well, I guarantee you, you can't find these literally anywhere. Now, I don't think that this is going to necessarily last very long. I'm going to swap that bulb out for another good bulb. Just so I don't burn the set out faster because this will just cascade when it blows. Wow, I'm not having good luck with these leftover bulbs, am I? I think my light keeper grill comes with a set of bolts. As replacements. Okay, that bulb works. I just, I don't want these to burn out ridiculously fast until I can get more of these yellow bulbs. Because my plan here is to um, I, I think there's like 15 bulbs or something in this set. My plan is to make this all yellow again. You know, these ones actually don't look nearly as bright. I think these ones are going to blow uh, kind of fast. How many watts is it? We're down to 21.8 now, so. That might be a set that I put on like a dinner or something. Now let's, let's get these ones done and over with just as fast as we can, because I don't like these. Oh my god, they draw two watts. Who cares? And they work. Throw in the box of LEDs where you belong. Now, does this set work? Okay, this set... Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ. How much you want to bet that one burns out really fast? Uh, we've got a lot of burned out bulbs here. We've got one, two, three, four burned out bulbs. So. Nope, that one's gone. I just want to double check that the other bulbs. That one might be okay. I might have pulled the wrong one. That one's gone. That one might be okay as well. Uh, nope, that one's... Not sure that's a... Put that one back. Those two can go together. And then this one... That one looks okay. So I think I, I think I either grabbed the wrong bulb somewhere, or these ones are really sharp. But those all seem to have filaments that are intact. There's some bulbs. 
swamp from it. But I'm sure it worked perfectly fine. Just so I can... I see a really black light bulb now. Like, so black that, like, burned out. Like, it's dark. Gone bad. I'm not making this sound any better, am I? Like, it's... it's bad. Well, no good anymore. I think it's that one that was glowing extremely bright. It's about to burn out. I bet you when I pop this last bulb in, it don't work no more. Yep, see, no, it don't work no more. So, the ones that I just checked are indeed bad bulbs. three bulbs to replace what is my logic three bulbs to replace four burned out bulbs yeah that makes sense there four fresh bulbs for four bad bulbs I wasn't really intending to film light repair right now. At least not in a time lapse, but. I guess here we are. We get to see how time consuming of a process this is to individually replace each bulb. This is why you should always replace the bulbs as soon as they go out. Do not wait. You notice a burned out bulb? Replace it. Otherwise, this is your outcome. From now on, as soon as I have two or three bulbs burned out, I am going to... Okay, I was like, did I just do something stupid? As soon as I have like two or three bulbs out, I'm going to get some replacement bulbs. Like ASAP. bulbs ASAP and replace them as soon as I can get the new ones. So I can avoid having to do this next year. Because this is like, what, day two now that I, of this project. And I'm only now starting to finish up some of these sets. Like currently, if my math is correct, we're at just under 80% of all my sets working. Seventy-nine percent of my sets are working. I guess I got a bad bulb that I put in somewhere. Time to check each bulb that I just put in. One's okay. There's the bad one. That one is also bad. So two out of the four that I just put in are bad.
technically, when I, as I keep mentioning this, when I get my Light Keeper Pro, this is going to become so much easier because I'll just be able to run it along and use little, the uh, little, um, what do they call it? I forget what people call them, but like the low voltage, or not low voltage, the uh, non-contact voltage tester. I know it's got a name, but I don't. I should have checked that bulb before I put it in. Now I, I think it was this one. Okay, that one works. Or at least it's got continuity, so it should light. That one works. Before I go too far, I'm going to check this one too. All I'm doing is listening for tone. Which that does not have. Good to know. So, I still need one more bulb out of that set. I think... that these sets that I'm currently trying to get working should just become part sets. Like not not this green one, but my, my two white ones that I really do not like. I think I should convert those to part sets. Because they currently don't work at all. And now I just lost the bulb. Oh there it is. I keep rubbing bulbs out of it to fix other sets. And it's getting to the point here where I'm pretty much going to have to buy a whole other set just to repair the one set. So if I go to buy another full, whole other set, I might as well just buy a whole other set. And not sit here and waste my time relamping an entire broken set. Oh, god damn it, that one works. But this bulb is bad. See, that's why you can't rely fully on the continuity test to tell you whether your bulb is good or not. It's more of just like telling you if it's got continuity. Which, now this set works. And it's drawing 20 watts. So I'm going to check my phone real quick. Here's my blue set. This, set. this blue set should just work. It should be about 50 watts. 36 watts. What is it supposed to draw? That was 50. 40 watts, so we're a little bit under on that, but like my voltage is also a little bit low. Currently in this room it's about 115 volts. Now, plugging these ones in makes me a little nervous because of all the patchwork on this cord. Every year I get a little paranoid plugging this in, but It looks like they don't work at all. So this entire set is going to have to get looked over. I'm not doing that right this minute. But I know that I have to look at that, that set now. But I'm running out of space on this phone, so. Well, I think I'm going to get on to... Uh, working on this uh, fancy set. I forget what they're actually called.
fucking listen Cause I'm on a fucking mission Man, you got to be driven Cause this world is unforgiving You're the only one that's winning Or the only one that's quitting So get up and stay committed Don't be asking for permission Hit the gas after ignition And start acting like you're winning Make your wrong damn decisions Don't let others make you victims Have a thought and That's peace you know, it just occurred to me now. Looks like there's C7s. I bought these. I don't know if these work. The GE. I'm going to very carefully open the package. Tens and tens of C7s. A lot of satin goes in here. GE's cloth over this one. C6, but it's. The wiring has been cut to it, so I don't know. I'll have to try that with the battery, see if the bulb's good. I am. I don't really got a socket to here. C6 bulbs because when one goes out, the whole set goes out, they're wired in series. And that's even a GE. That shows up there now. I think they're these just are flashers kind of, too. They're not as fun but it, because it's aggravating finding the bad bulb. C6. I want to see if one flashes. I'll set each of the sockets out so you can kind of see the difference in it. There's the three bulbs, C6, C7, C9. So that's, those are typically about seven watts. These are about nine and a half watts. So, so we know the red one works. C9 and a half is what they truly used to call them because they're C9 or they're nine and a half watts. That one's like I say, C7, that was seven watts. C6, I don't know if that meant it was six watts or what. I think so somewhere to put these. Base is significantly smaller. Oh, there's those flickering now. I unboxed them all, so I've got a lot of lights to go through here. So you take it out one of those. Right. We're seeing a miniature set of lights, see if they work. All bulbs in here. Let's try the green That's one. That's a blinker. You can see that. I don't know, maybe it doesn't show up. There's a big thick arm in there. And that's it. It's a bimetal strip. It gets hot and it breaks the circuit and cools off, hits against the bar. Yeah, I've had these the for a year, year and I never thought to check them. Uh, I don't really like that yeah, green. Other ones in here too. That's a blinker. That's, um, that's an interesting yeah, flickering yeah. pattern. So there is some That's one hell of a flickering bulb. And these were all uh, C7. Sets. This is the only C6 bulb. There was other boxes of lights at the estate side, but most of them were miniature lights like that. I'm just not interested in those. I just have this, this sickness for the That C7 one flicker is kind of interesting. I, I kind of like that. Let's try the yellow one. I got five thousands of these lamps. I don't know why I keep buying them. I should just design myself to stop buying them. But Anyway, let's see what works with these C7s here. So these lights are like about 5.8 watts. Like this one, you can get some of them. They're a little high. You can get the cord out of reach for fun, so I'm using an uh, extension cord. C7 and a half. At least 7.5 watts. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I like that. Oh, here goes this one flickering the same way. Yeah, I'm just using a socket. I'll try them in a different socket, sometimes the sockets are... These are 7 watts. I would have thought these yeah, being... The C7, I thought these would have been 5 watts. So this string of lights are going to go to just use it for the bulbs. So that makes that oh, I guess the in the more vintage sets. C9 and a half, or C9 is like 9 and a half watts. Or nine watts or right, whatever. So we're gonna go through and I'm gonna check the bulbs. And uh, C sevens are C seven and a half in this case. I'm supposed to be about seven, seven and a half watts. Zap now self. Oh, that one's done. Unless the unless the Did that one just burn out? There's no the way. Let me we'll just go through and we'll, we'll check them out and we'll bring garbage can over here so I can throw things away as I find them garbage. That fucking ball's just right now. It looks pretty decent. I'll probably keep this one. What the wiring. fuck? And, uh, that one's really well, well, now I might actually end up using these. Because. Uh, the 
This is why I should have checked them. Like a year ago. Not now. Oh there, I got all the bulbs pulled out. I'll have to go through and test each and every bulb, but that's gonna be a bit. Also, if it hasn't been obvious, all I do when I'm doing these is I throw some YouTube on in the background and just listen to it. Because I'm time-lapsing this, so there's no point in talking to the camera. Let's go! Yeah, I said I got this a morning. Give me five years and I got what I wanted. I'ma go ahead and finish all that I started. I'ma go ahead and get it all uncharted. I can make this place go off like a rocket. Give a fuck if you hate it or you want it. I don't do this shit, cause I think that you want it. I just do this shit, cause I know that I want it. I could give a fuck. I gotta give props to the people who do this every year. I don't know how you do it. This has been hell for me. Especially just like sitting on the floor here. I get I get sore sitting on the floor, kind of kneeled down like that and head bent down. I, I have to take breaks. Well, I haven't done anything today, so I, I think it's probably time I start working on these sets again. Have them ready for Christmas time. My Lightkeeper Pro has not arrived yet, unfortunately. Set yesterday. Did I get this one going? I don't remember. Okay, this one does not work. See, this is where it would be nice if I had it already. So then I don't have to sit here and inspect each and every bulb, but oh well. Even in the shot. I don't know why that scared me so much. Alexa, what's the notification? Alexa, what's the notification? Good evening, hi. Light Keeper Pro has arrived. Oh shit. There are three low price offers for items you saved on Amazon. Okay, so I promise that was not planned at all. But my Lightkeeper Pro arrived. I was not expecting that. That scared the fuck out of me when my Alexa went off. Uh, let's see if this thing is good as everyone says it is. Now this is your instruction booklet. I knew that. What's this say? A note from our company. It does take time. It started this company in 1996. If your first attempt is unsuccessful, be patient. Be patient.
but basically you uh, <coughs> basically it says just don't uh, give it a couple of pulls a little sticker on the side here that says don't throw the packaging away because you're Thing is inside the yeah, instructions. Use your spare bulbs that they give you. Not sure I'm going to use those, but nice to have. There's the problem bulb. Maybe. So it's around there. Now supposedly I should be able to just plug this in right here. Pull it 20 times and see if it worked. Of course not. Now, this isn't a, a great, what the hell, these are working now. So half of this is just bad connection. So that's good to know on that section is a bad connection. So I'll look into that. So maybe I did fix those. I don't know where the sensor is on this thing. Oh, it's right at the end. So, it's telling me that this bulb might be an issue. There's a little tester on the end here. Sure enough, when I put it there, let's put a fuse tester. Sure enough, I put the bulb there and the bulb doesn't work. So, supposedly, I should be able to pull a working bulb, plug it in, it does not seem to fit these sockets very nicely. So that might be an issue. It doesn't seem to fit these sockets. No, I don't know if I have a set of mini lights that is. Oh my god, it actually works? This thing actually works! Okay, so I swear the way this video has gone so far, this is not scripted. I was unsure if this was actually going to work. I barely read the instructions. I basically looked at it just to figure out what the fucking plug on the end did. Next thing you know, We managed to fix a set of Christmas lights already. And there's a lot of blown bulbs in this one, unfortunately. But this really beats having to dig out the multimeter, grab the bulb, set the meter to continuity where it beeps. I don't know if you can hear that beep or not. Stick the end into the thing, hope it makes a connection. And that bulb is bad. Do I have a good note, a known good bulb here? Bad. Yep. 
Okay, all these bulbs are bad. But hey, at least I know that. Oh shit! Did, did we break them? Power's not flowing somewhere here. Now I gotta figure out: is it a bad connection or just? I think we got a bad connection on the set. Let's flip the plug around and see what happens. So far those all seem to be okay. Of course can just pop the bulb out and test the bulb tester. Bulb tester is supposed to work. Oh, there we go. You just really got to push on it. Man, it just lights up. Spike it a couple times and Sure enough, it's working again, but we've got a lot of really bright light bulbs, so we're not going to let that go for very long. Because what's going to start happening when it's bright like that is bulbs are going to start blowing. I need a green here. So I just pull out a red. See, this is so much faster. Oh, this one's out too. This is so much faster and so much easier. I really wish I had picked up a Lightkeeper Pro sooner. Like, I'm not kidding. This is really useful. I think everyone should have a Lightkeeper Pro. Especially if you do a lot with Christmas lights like I do. I can see the brightness going down, that makes me happy. I'm probably going to use the set of pulling bulbs out as a... Oh, see, this bulb's bad. So that's probably what was killing that set. I've never actually seen a set with a full... What the hell is this color? Green, 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 red, red, red. That's supposed to be a green down here. See, these are looking to the point here where I can feel comfortable. I'm going to pull the bulb because these are getting bright over here. Now. And those will start, start blowing as well. I mean, once the set cascades, that's that's the end of it. Like, I'm not going to sit here and swap out every bulb on a set that cascaded. Those are just twisted, but I don't know if the bulbs are blown or what the case is with some of these. No, that one's blown. How about you? You're also blown. See, this is so much faster already. Like, 
I think that's the fastest I've got a set going so far. Although I'm not having luck finding good globes out of this set. I bet you most of that set's probably blown up. There. So we're getting closer to where I feel comfortable leaving off with this. Now you don't have to you don't have to guess with each bulb, you can pop it into the tester and see like that bulb works. Unfortunately I'm down to just reds over this set. That one doesn't work. Okay, so I know that one works. I'm just going to pull every bulb out of the, what's left of this set and we'll see what I can do. You know, temporarily I might use white just to get the set fully working. Oh, here's a green. Hopefully this green one works. And it just blew. Who would have guessed? Who could have saw that coming? So yeah, I'll use some of these. Like, I don't need these anyways. They're two and a half volt, 170 milliamp. I don't know if that's the correct rating for these or not. But it's only temporary. Unlike some people who say temporary and it turns out permanent, I'm very serious about these sets looking proper. Yeah, two, two and a half volts, 70, 170 milliamp looks good on this set. What you really do is just have some sockets prepared here, but I don't. Oh well. There it is. Did another one just fail? I don't really call that one being out. Yeah, that socket's crumbling, so take another socket. 
And here's that. But I plan on buying some red and green bulbs next month, which is November. Today is October 21st, so like 10 days or whatever, a week. I will be ordering new bulbs for a lot of the lights. I think I've mentioned it. I'm going to try True Tone. Like, I made a video of bitching about LEDs earlier. But, I'm going to try out True Tone bulbs this year. See if I like them. Looks like we're down to our last three bad bulbs on this set. And we get to work on the other half. And let's just say, I've got this set up and running and I'm replacing bulbs in less time than it has taken me to diagnose the fault on some of the previous sets. Like in the, the videos where I'm time lapsing, where it only looks like a couple of minutes on camera at most has probably been 40 to 50 minutes of me sitting here taking the set apart, checking the bulbs, replacing the blown bulbs, putting the set back together, and it not working. And you know what? My pizza's gonna be done in a second, in like five minutes or so. So I'm gonna have to go pull out the pizza after. When I have to go pull out the pizza, it's been 20 minutes. It takes 20 minutes to cook the pizza. I've got half of the string going in just over 15 minutes. I did not expect this thing to save me this much time on these lights. 50 bulbs were checked and replaced and working. 15 minutes it took me to do that. Now I'm just going to wait for the timer for my pizza. Let's see how fast I can get this side done. I already know that there's a blown bulb on... I know there's a bunch of blown bulbs on this side. There's one here that needs to be replaced. I'm just going to use up all my red ones that I have right now. The less of these that I have to rip out and replace... Uh-oh. Seems like we have a bad connection somewhere. As well. There's another bowl. I don't know where the bad connection on this set is, but... Oh well. As long as it keeps working, I do not care. And if it stops working, I got the Lightkeeper Pro to fix it. Look at that. All the... All the burned out red ones are already replaced. And now I've only got... Like two green ones left. Or zero green ones left, sorry. So I'm gonna have to switch over to these white ones. We'll see if the Lightkeeper Pro 
can fix a set of clear ones I have that does not work. How many bulbs do I got out now? I got one, two, three, four, five burned out. Unfortunately, this is where I'm going to leave this set for now because I do not have any more spare bulbs. Let's see here. You've probably seen these ones already. This is that set I tried to repair but I could not get it going. I got half of it to work and the other half is completely dead. Bulb test good that I just pulled out, so that's not where the problem is. Just be safe. Pop it in. Nothing. Okay, so this set is not a bulb failure as much as it is a connection failure, which the Lightkeeper Pro cannot fix. That. Just like that, I found the connection failure. So it doesn't seem to be the bulb that's the problem. Oh, wait. That makes sense. sense. So there's obviously no power on these ones. Now where does the power stop? So that's telling me this bulb here, which is a little bit twisted, Hey, look at that. So that's another set that we just fixed. Another set of these icicle lights. to this ball. So I'm going to suspect this ball right here is a problem. And sure enough, this ball does not work. If I pop in a new one, it will light. Of course not. Oh, what the hell? Okay. You know what, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. See? It did not 
fix it that time. Now I wonder if I just zap it a couple times with the plug. Still nothing. So again, I don't think this is a Flip the plug so I can check these easier. So, see, it doesn't really work over here as well. We can work on those ones. we have a problem with this bulb. Jam it in the tester and that confirms that that bulb is bad. Uh, I don't have any with that style base at the moment, so I do have to swap the bulb to a different base. Assuming this bulb is good, let's just give it a quick test. So apparently it doesn't work just loosely touching the terminals on. I think there must be a button in there. No, that bulb's no good either. I'm either not using the bulb test properly. Or these bulbs have failed. Here we go, here's a good one. Huh, I'll have to figure that set out. closer. Oh, and we had a bad connection, but look at how bright those are. Uh-oh. Nope, let's not run those like that at all. I'll just quickly tap it in to find all the red bulbs that are burned out. Red, red, red. Okay, what did I say? Here's a red. We're going to pull all the reds out and replace them. Go as quick as I can. Just don't burn out any more bulbs. technically convert some of these to multicolor if I wanted to, but I don't know if I want to. Okay, those are greens that are out, those have greens that are out. 
I'm okay with it being like this. They're not nearly as bright. That's good enough for me. That's three sets that the Light Keeper Pro has fixed. This is going to be a parts set. Wow, am I really down to the last set already? this one real quick. Well, that didn't fix the side that I was trying to fix. Okay. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? It fixes the side that's not in the frame. The Light Keeper Pro is shy. Camera shy. That's not legit at all. Well, let's pull a bulb and we'll zap this side then. Unfortunately, I see a bulb that's about to burn out. And I think we just blew this set up. Well, that's a shame. I think we just blew out every working bulb left in this set. Oh no, we did not. I'm afraid to use the light keeper too much because I don't want to pop any of the good bulbs. Oh shit, yeah, look at how bright those are. It's all reds that are working. So yeah, we're not going to leave that plugged in for very long now, are we? Thankfully, we have the parts set to pull the bulbs out of I'm going to pulse this a lot so I don't blow the bulbs as I'm doing this. Until this starts to dim down a bit. Just about every green bulb on this set is blown. Which is a, a real shame, really. We've got some reds that are out. This socket's broken. out. Still a green that's out. I should really check these bulbs with the bulb tester before I stick them in. Now I wonder if the light keeper will work on my chasing set or my effect set or whatever you want to call it, the controller set. I 
And like, I'm not even getting to the point where I'm uncomfortable from sitting on the floor, so. To get through this many sets that fast is really good. And we're starting to get to the point here where I feel comfortable leaving this plugged in with how fast I'm swapping out bulbs. We're not fully at that point yet, but we're getting closer. I know a set that's bright like this will run for quite a while, so. But I don't want to put any more stress on these old bulbs than we already are. I'm just going to pull a bulb out of the other set so I don't burn that one out. What kind of bulb did I just pull out? I pulled out a... Um, I don't know. If it's getting a green. Sure. Since the color scheme on this is all fucked up for whatever reason. Whoever had whatever color they could find apparently stuck the bulbs in this set. Well, that bulb's bad. That's a red that's out. That one's bad. That one is blue. Or something else blue. That one was blown. green, so I gotta replace it with a green. That's the wrong size socket. I'm keeping track of all these sockets because I'm gonna need them to rebuild a part set, so. Or not a part set, but like a, a completely empty set. that work in that bulb was no good. I should have checked it first. I don't know where I'm going to put these this year. And we've almost hit my goal of 90% of my lights working. a red that's out. I think we have a few reds left. A few less reds left. That's the wrong size. It's also out. That one's completely out. Got some greens out. I don't know what it is with these lights and greens being out, but be really common. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's a pain in the ass to get out. Okay, there's all those fixed. There's a couple more greens that need to be replaced. I 
I'm not having very good luck finding good ones here, am I? There we go. That's a very dim bulb for the set. I think that's the wrong bulb. We got one last green here. Let's just check this real quick. Okay, that's that's that side fully working. Now if we come to this side, I know I pulled out this one because I found that this was just a little bit too bright for my liking. Meaning that it's got a bunch of bad bulbs as well. Does it ever have a lot of bad bulbs? Bet you I'm just blowing all the weak ones right now. Conveniently, I just pulled one of those out. And even more conveniently, it works! I just about took a green out of the working set. I think I got two bulbs left to replace on this set before we've got a fully working set. Which I think is pretty good actually. I've repaired just about every single one of these sets. Now I actually took the bulb. No. Did I? What? Yeah, I'm confused now. I thought I'd put a green where red's supposed to go. Apparently the green's supposed to go there. And I need a red on this end, but I don't have a red in that size. Again, should have checked the ball before I got this to this point, but here we are. Check it now though. And it works then. There. Another fully working set. Good pile. We'll see what I can piece together over the rest of the sets. I'm going to go eat dinner. And that's only 45 minutes. we got four sets working. Well, i got to clear some space off on this phone. Then we're going to get back to recording, fixing the Christmas lights. Well, I should have enough space now. I'm going to pull all the bulbs out of that broken part set that's right there. We're going to put them into the other set. Let's see just how many bulbs I have left over. If I die today, if I'm a go route, it's my fucking way. At least I'll go route with some pride to my name. With the fight that I play, that's my fucking way. Oh, y'all can sit back and think you were the best of me. I can guarantee that you haven't seen the rest of me. 
Well, that was a lot faster than previous setups. That only took like seven minutes to pull all these bulbs out and I'll test them. That one's bad. That's obviously bad. That one's good. I think most of these are probably bad. That one's good. Let's check this one again. Oh, that one's bad. Confirmed. That one's cracked, so it's obviously bad. Granted, it doesn't really help me in my situation, but it's starting to loosen up actually. It's either starting to loosen up or I'm getting the hang of putting these bulbs in it. Here to be almost good. I wonder if I'll have enough to complete the set. Well, at least fix one of the sets with the notebooks. Little packs that come with fresh bulbs. 
Okay, so basically, if the fuse is good, it lights up. One of these sets actually came with dual flashes. I wonder if it'll start flashing. We don't want those. That's a blue, I don't have a use for a blue one right now. So I made this little do that. It's just two pink stir sticks with three forward toes for the bulb to rest, hot glue around those holes to grip the bulb. Those are then glued to a close thing and add a bit of a bad bad ones. I recommend making something like this to help in solid bulbs and it only took a few minutes to make. With that, we have found a way to install the bulb so that our tree can come alive. Carefully take apart the good ones. Hanging on to the spare sockets in case I ever break a socket. Though, the, uh, the light keeper pro is definitely not meant for the lights with as big of a socket as these ones have. Granted, these lights have a pretty big socket. The fact that it fixed these at all. Superiority of the cable, mate. It's these sweet old Cassie's buds. They almost work. So that is one time I'm going to make cards. I'm going to put these into a separate box now because I'm running out of space in the box. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. I'm going to put a listing inside of it. Okay. As for why this side, okay, these, these ones are weird. I'm missing a bulb that I gotta find. I'll have to look at it. Oh, there we go. They're working again. I'll have to look at those. And I actually want to turn those ones off because it looks like they're blowing a bit bright. I've got some burned out green ones here. 
about heaps of money. So, you know, big thanks, patrons, and I can actually, like, go into a bigger mouth of one of these stupid nuggets and actually go, like, okay, <laughs> it wasn't cheap, but I, I got it for a good deal because it's one of those, like, untested who knows kind of thing. You can see the are some issues where you can the other. So I love that it's an original case. That's what, man, man that's how the fuck that is. All right, let's, let's put this, let's put it out. Oh, it's a nice case. <laughs> She's got some wear. Oh, she's cheap. Oh, she's got a dent. That's a bit sad. And Dilly Grime. What about bats? Okay, cool. So nice adventures they take you to. Where it's going to be one big D cell or something. And I think a beautiful matchup for these is going to be my great sticking burritos. You know how easy these are to drive and just how classic they look. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be this is gonna be neat. Proof that the catching names of Always put something the else on. Frank, stop interrupting the video. You watch Zach Pack TV. That was loud. Bulb gear work that I just randomly found? Of course it does. That's all those ones fixed. This one. Over there. I know it looks kind of funny with the white ones in here, but. Just in case I don't get to fixing these ones, and I, or I forget, and I go to put them up, they're not going to burn out extra fast because I'm missing bulbs. Because these strings are probably going outside. So... chance I catch something before it's too late is kind of, kind of low. So by the time I notice that these are out, they're probably all going to be burned out. More, more likely I'll find them all burned out than I will find out just a couple burned out. Even though I don't like the way this is going to look. This is better than coming back to no lights working or half a string out. Like I did last year. Quite frankly, I was not dealing with it last year, so... My solution to last year was I literally just took two of my hundred well it was the clear Christmas or the clear icicle lights that I fixed. Last year. And it was um, two of them that were out. Probably angering people just cutting up that set of lights, but like I'm chucking those ones out when I'm done with the bulbs anyways. So. the two hundred string sets. And you might be able to see, you might not. There's a spare kind of overlap them in a way that the two fifty strings didn't look like shit. This is just a spare Now you can take have a bunch of burned out bulbs. from experience. I just took the two sets and made it look like one basically. There's no rooms, no no splits, it's one solid wire. So, what 
So that's those completely done for now. I know those ones are done. Those aren't ice flights, those are going to put those in the different blocks. Do I need to look at these ones? Was this set the question? Yep, this one's got not only some bad bulbs in it, there's a green one right here that I'm going to just, uh, you know what? One ball though is okay. This one has one, two. This one has two bulbs out. Sorry, three bulbs out, I think. No. Yes. So one here, two, three, four, five. Now, which side of the set is this side? So all the burned out ones are on the same side. So this side has five out. That's, that's kind of pushing what I'm comfortable with, but just so I'm not piecing together random shit and making it look bad. I'm going to reorganize some of my springs here because this is getting really messy. basically need to look over some of these sets again anyways because I appear to be missing a set that I know doesn't work. So I think it went into a box and it wasn't supposed to. Here's another set of icicle lights. Entire set works. Every bulb is good. Here's a set of mini lights. Getting a text message. Oh, those ones work. Oh, you know what? This is probably. Is this the set I think it is? Okay, so those all appear to be okay. I'm going to cut those off to the side. This one. A little touchy, but it works. It's still going to make a connection throughout the tree as long as these layer problems are making contact with the connector. If they're not making connection, then that simulates a uh, split of the line. It simulates a ball not even being in the So, my clear icicle lights. I'm not fond of this one set, but... Oh yeah, that's right, this set doesn't even work. Wait, I thought this one worked. What? I could have sworn this worked. It's very short, but it did work. Now it doesn't. I think we should use the Light Keeper Pro on it. So here, there's no power at all here. Let's flip the plug. Yeah, that chunk has power. For some reason my phone's on mute. It's all good on that chunk. That's all okay. You know, I can simply just, you know, try and Remove the ball. Hey, 
every time that damn thing works. I can't get over that. I love it. Actually, those ones need a couple bulbs replaced. I got the clear bulbs, so I'll replace them. Is this one big set? This is one big set. And these all work. Down to every last bulb is lighting. Oh no, we got we got a couple burned out bulbs. Well, you know what I have to say about that. Oh, is this a hundred and fifty string? Uh, not a hundred, is that thought? Not that that's an issue or anything. I thought these were a hundred square. There. Now this string works absolutely perfect. How much power does it draw? So about 70 watts. Ignore that light dimming, my fridge just kicked in. So those ones are good. That's all of them for the mini lights, other than this string here that I need to take a couple more bulbs off this set. Take these bulbs and use them. That one's bad. And that one's good, so I need to grab another bulb. I will save the socket, however. Yeah, let's break the bulb while well, we're at it. That seems like a real smart idea. is good. Again, another bad bulb. If that doesn't show you just how beat down these sets are, I don't know what does. Okay, this bulb is good. This also now just brings a new realization to me with the Lightkeeper Pro. The metal contacts in there are always live, and I don't know how to feel about that. Like, if a screwdriver pokes in there, like a piece of metal shorts these out, you can see it lights it up. That'll kill your battery fast. So I think I'm going to be storing this thing in its package. Which makes me really glad that I was nice and gentle when I took it out of the box. Are you fucking serious? There's no way I just did that. Now we're not going to find a bulb that works.
I want to have these go on my... Let's set a date to have my lights work, guys. Obviously, before I want to put them on. Okay, this one is burned out right here. And this one down here is burned out. Loosen that one, loosen this one. There's also a One's bad and this one's bad. Need two more bulbs. Actually, you have three bars, so you have a uh, you have two knots running through this at all times. So this knot is stick to this bulb. Why do those cut start cutting? Yeah, you know what? No, I probably should. So that's how you can have it. What's the point in cutting that off to pull the bulb out? Why did I bring three bulbs? Okay. What is my logic here? I don't want to mess with this. This is what took me up though, was, was the other example of the You can see the red wire runs past that bulb, so it never makes connection there, so it goes on to the next circle. Before I waste my time taking these bulbs out, though, that one's good. That one's bad, so I guess it's a good thing I grabbed an extra bulb. It also happens to be bad. Motherfuckers. I'm not even surprised at this point. Okay, that one's good. I wonder why this one doesn't work. Definitely not the 17 pounds of corrosion on this one. That one's going to be a little bit of a fish. So you have a Christmas light bulb that's burning. You can't turn the light on the line to another one of these. You can't turn the light on the line to another one of these. You can't turn the light on the line to another one of these. You can't turn the light Find the last missing socket here. I cannot seem to find the last the missing bulb. How? Oh, there it is. This is the corrode socket. For whatever reason, one of these sockets is not working now. That one needs to be there. Okay, with that being known, take that out. At least I know that everything's working. burned out.
day, smartphones built by you are so foreign that it's hard to even think of them as smart in any fashion. They just happen to have internet connectivity and thus technically fit the definition. All this is to establish that Apple's main goal in their bread and butter since that perfect foundation was set up is simply making more iPhones. That's what Apple does now, as they continually improve on that initial blueprint. 2008 brought 3G networking at a cheaper price tag. 2009 doubled the processing speeds. 2010 leapfrogged everything, adding so many features, like the Retina display, that far more premium design and build, Apple's first custom ARM-based chipset, a front-facing camera, and FaceTime. 2011 brought Siri, the first mainstream personal AI assistant that has led to this AI revolution we've seen becoming even more and more relevant in recent years. 2012 brought finally a larger display and an even better and sleeker design. 2013 brought the first 64-bit chipset in a smartphone, as well as biometric security and a massive overhaul to the software in iOS 7. 2014 made iPhone larger and more immersive than ever before. Why am I listening to this? I don't experience. care about iPhones. 2016 improved on the experience further with dual camera. The bulb just burn out. Why the fuck is my TV freaking out? Oh. Let's watch a video on bubble lights. the fun of figuring out what the fuck is wrong with these. If anything. Because like, again, it's just all mixed together. I don't know what works. I don't know what doesn't anymore. These look like they're brand new, so they should all work. And they do. So... I can go down the other box. Mini lights, just regular. Mini lights. I think these were tested. I almost took the broken parts set with me. This can also go down the box. I got those to look at. small set there to look at. Let's start with these ones, and I can already tell you that they're not going to work. These are missing bulbs. So that's going to get looked at. Uh, let's put that behind me. This set should work. And it does, but it's got one really dim bulb and a burned out bulb. Quickly swap that bulb. I'm gonna have a lot of light sockets to pick up in a minute. Now, when I put this bulb in, it might just immediately blow up. This might be too low of a voltage. These might be six volt bulbs. Ones. 
I think this is a set that one of those LEDs came in. So we've got a green that's out. I don't have any greens on hand at the moment. Oh yeah, these are the ones that are a little flaky. So we're going to look at those ones. set that I pieced together. I don't remember though. And of course, big surprise, it all works. Well, almost all. We've got two bulbs out. And they both live in the same section. Three bulbs out. So, again, take three bulbs off the set. Before I put this in, let's check it. Good thing I did. Oh no, it works. Never mind. I was going to say, it didn't work, but it works. Oh, it texted me again. God damn it. Okay, one second. You know what? Because this is going to get so long, I am going to time lapse. Well, after fixing the set, I'm going to time lapse it. So where did I leave off? That's a good bulb. I think I tested all the bulbs and they were all good. I remember correctly because I took a little bit of a break there. Apparently, this bulb is bad. I mean, this is probably the bulb I needed right here. Um, what as I was saying, I'm going to time lapse the repair process. Yeah, that's a bad bulb. That one's still bad. I'll time lapse going through all these other sets until we find a broken one. And then I'll pick up on the recording.
Because I know there's a bad set up there. Because I have that effect set, or whatever you want to call it, the chasing lights, or whatever. I don't know what the proper name for them is. Lights, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, all good. We're on 35 watts. Broken. But the reason why parts. I hang on to the socket so these white ones in case. I need a set. But we're gonna time lapse the rest of the repair. Next set I pulled out already has a problem. Got a failed bulb. I'm running out of bulbs to pull. Test it before we go too far. And I, don't, I don't know if it just doesn't fit, but I think this bulb is bad. So we'll pull out another one. Hold on, I should check it. Good. I just had the ball. Where did I put it? Six watts. I'll check the rest now on time lapse. Immediately, I just had a bulb flow, and I know I have a blue one. Now, I know it's not going to match the same, but. After a, a season, it will. See, like, it doesn't match at all, but it will eventually. Oh, 
This is a fairly old set. It's probably 90s. Huh. Okay, so um, a second chunk of these is now working again. And now nothing's working. There we go. You may also have noticed that the way this switches the hood is terrible. Switches ideally should have a snap to reduce working with the hoods. This hood just doesn't. The contacts barely move despite switching 10 amps. So it's barely going to stop working. I need like a solid on. So the bulb works there. The bulb does not work here. I don't know what does. Oh, it was shorted. That was the issue. This one's the circuit that's dead, right? No. This one. So it's almost like something in the controller failed. I 
So I'm thinking it's a bad connection somewhere in the set. So this seems to be just, no, that's not off. This is the setting that I usually have them on. Okay, it'll fade in, fade out, and I'll start doing all of the effects. So you can actually see what's going on here. I think. I think this is the setting that I put them on. So you can, now they're getting a little faster. Okay, well, that's it. I think. I don't know, it does the two blink and then it does this, so this is the wrong setting still. Here, how about we get a taste of See, now the power is getting to these. Bad connection right here. I don't remember this mode. That bulb does work. I'll find a different setting. So that seems to have just cut out. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I got two out of the three working. I'm pretty happy with this too. I'm just going to have to go through slowly and trace out each bulb. So this one burned out here. Or is this the burned out one? That's a burned out one. That working. That one works. That one's good. At least when I say good, it's getting power through it. I do not know which bulbs are good or bad in terms of light up or not, but continuity is getting through.
that bulb and the bulb lit up in the light keeper. that is known to be uh, on the good working side, so it's not like not like I pulled out a bulb that is uh, on the side that's not working at all, the section I should say. Bulb here works. Yeah. Let's plug this in. Do the rest light. Test it, now it's just not going to work. Sure enough, that's exactly the case. Because these wires are bent. 
sections working, that would be really nice. Like, I genuinely have not seen the entire set work for four years now. If it worked fully when I got them, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure they did. Tell me this is a bad ball for you. Oh, that's 
is good. So why are there not some continuity between these lines? That's the thing. There is. No, there's not again. that bulb is good. Now, I think there's a signal through here. Yep. That's working again. watching. Greetings, my um, vintage Christmas light enthusiast. This is Scott here, your Christmas lighting friend. Um, I think it's become aware to me after going to the 2019 Glow um, um, convention and seeing the ultimate person who knew everything about bubble lights, they would talk on bubble lights, then we could use one online. So I'm going to do kind of the same thing as his talk. I'm going to try to introduce you to all the different bubble lights. It, it's also well, it's got that fixed. The people are becoming very There's another burned out one. Uh, they think they're going to jump into the buying market and buy up all the shooters and the oils that are available. And yet they keep getting burned because they got the wrong kinds. This video is also for those folks. It's all for new collectors. I'd rather see new collectors be educated buyers than um, uneducated. That way, they make good decisions when they buy. They're happy when they're done. And we have a new collector for life. So here we go into Bubble Light 101 Part 1. I'm also going to follow this with Part 2, showing you all the other kinds of bubble lights there are. So we're going to start. We're going to start with the earliest, earliest bubble lights known to man. These bubble lights right here, right here, this one, um, are some of the very first ones. I also have one down here, okay? These are what you might often hear referred to as the clip bubble light. If you notice, right here above my finger is a metal clip. Um, at that point, um, these were about 1941. Um, that was right before World War um, II started out, or at least before America got into World War II. Um, and Noma was looking for a way. Noma was a very large Christmas lighting company. 
they were looking for the way to just steal the Christmas light bulb and just to take it over. And the bubble light was going to be their savior. That was going to do the thing. Um, so they, they started working on these bubble lights. They had a designer who would come to them with an idea. I'm not going to get into the deep history. If you want to read that, you can go online and find the deep history. Okay, so they, they made these bubble lights. They took the old glow light candle bases, which generally had a matchless light bulb in it, Okay, and then they just took and they flipped it upside down and put another one on top without a light bulb and then stuck the glass tube in. Um, at that point, they, they just wired them together with three clips. There's one, there's two, and there's the third clip. Um, these are very rare, very hard to find. For the people who think that shooters are just the world's best, try to find these. These are impossible. Um, they're, they're very hard to get them to bubble. Um, I, I don't believe them we had worked out all the kids in 1941 when they produced these. They released them to the world, um, and I, I, I don't know exactly how many they made, but they made, they made like 500,000 or something crazy like that. And they released them, I believe, in the Chicago area. Um, at 50 cents a piece, which was unheard of price-wise for a single light bulb in the Australia. However, with that said, it's said that they sold out within hours of being introduced to the public. Um, so, um, again, they're kind of persnickety. They were still working on the bubble medium. I don't know if we can see it, but this one actually has the glass lug in it. Oh, so at this point, stuff? they discovered the glass lug and put it in. They were also working with salts and sugars and all kinds of medium to leave in the bottom of the tube to break the bubbles up as they went up so they wouldn't just be a constant stream of bubbling action. Color was also a problem with bubble lights, so they, they had many different ways they were working. This is an even rarer version of the clip to bubble light. This actually did come from the company with blue paint on the tube. They no one just thought, well, we could just paint the tubes. Um, anyway, that was good enough. They finally found a way to color the methylene chloride, which is what is in the tube. Methylene chloride has a low bubbling temperature, and then add to that um, the heat, and then you have to put a vacuum in that tube. Um, and suck all the air out. The more vacuum, the better they're going to bubble. And that's pretty much the basic, basic of almost all bubble lights. Um, we move again to the next version that was released by 1941. These were released, but no more were made as far as I know after that. Okay, and then after the war, in 46 or 47, they had perfected it. They had gotten rid of the clips and glued the two halves together by using acetone, I believe, to essentially melt them together or seal them together permanently. Um, that makes them hard for us people who want to rewrap them. Um, they, they did have the red slug in it to break up. And here I'm going to show you a slug. A lot of people wonder what a slug is. You see that round glass? pellet there in the middle of this tube, that is what is called a slug. The slug is not the tube, okay? It is the pellet that is put in there to break the bubbles up and make smaller bubbles and go up a little more evenly, okay? Um, there's also one more rare Noma bubble light to look for, and that's this one. It's called the Noma Short Tube. Um, now, I don't know if this is true. Nobody has really confirmed that they heard from NOMA employees that they made these, but it sure appears that they have. Um, you normally see them with melted bases. They were probably with the first bubble light trees that were released that had the fire retardant sprayed on them, and that caused all the greenery to fall off in the ones we see now. It also caused this plastic to break down and melt. But they came supposedly, now this is not God's work, with short tubes to put into the bubble light trees so that they wouldn't overpower, I guess. And, you know, they would look 
more in scale to the Bud Light tree, and that's what that's why they supposedly made these short tubes. Again, don't hold me to it, but I will try to show you the difference in size. Um, I don't know if I can do it laying them next to each other, but there you go. That's um, here. Wait a minute. No, move it up. That's about halfway, and you can see the tube is definitely shorter. So anyway, all right. Now we're going to move into the ones that everybody's interested in. Oh, I forgot. No, the Noma came out for one year in 1948 with the Noma flat. That's what we called Noma flat, um, or the saucer flying saucer type. Um, apparently, they were having trouble, especially with the fire retardant, with these melting and just dis being destroyed. So they um, they decided to try a new version, which was this flat, and found out that these melted even faster than the originals did. Um, so they flipped back over to these in, by, I believe, 1949-ish, after they sold out all the stock of these normal flats. All right, now, also, we're also going to cover the C7 versions of said um, makers bubble lights. So Noma also, at the same time, they were producing these and these right here. They were also making the C7 Noma Tula, which means that if one went out, they all stayed lit. Unlike these down here, if one goes out, so does the whole set. Okay? So anyway, um, that's pretty much the Noma products. We'll get into the later Noma products later on in part two. Now we want to get to the ones that everybody's mad about, the oil bubble lights. The oil bubble lights were made by one company and for one reason. They were made because Noma over here held the patent to bubble light, either the term or the light itself. I'm not really sure. You'll have to look up the history. Um, I believe it's quoted online. And, and so they held the patent, and they kept the patent, and they, they held it against anybody who was going to try to bust into the bubble light market. So these um, other light makers had to come up with another way to do it, to circumvent the patent. So this company right here is Pyramid. They made their infamous crystal animated snow. Note that when I called it the crystal animated snow, nowhere in there was the term bubble light used. That is what is on the box. That would help them circumvent the patent by not even calling them bubble lights. What they did was they put a very, a very thick oil inside the tube. They also made their tube longer. If you look, it's hard to tell because these are on a raised platform. But the tube on these are almost as tall as the one on the next level over here. It's almost up there. So that means these were about a quarter of an inch longer, I believe. Um, and they, they have that oil, and they are just beautiful with thin, small, champagne-style bubbles going up, and you can see. Now, also, in these, they also put a bubbling matter. Let me see if I can get this to zero in. It's hard to see it, but they, in there, you'll see there's like little bits of white stuff. I, I've been told it's, it's some kind of a pumice stone that's broken up in there, and that causes the bubbles to break up more and become smaller, as well as it gives them the crystal animated snow. Sometimes you'll see these little white things go up and come back down, and it looks like crystal animated snow, hence the name. All right, so once the patent wars were over, um, it was only about a year, so these were only made for about a year. Paramount quickly decided to run out the rest of their oil, and so by the following year, they were making the solid color bases. Note, this one is white with a red brim. That's how most of their first ones were made. But they also made these two with a solid color base and a solid color rim, and the oil in those as well. Probably in that first year as well. This was their lesser company, probably um, being sold under the search. You'll find those in the store. The rim is always completed. The C7 version is right here. Let's go through their different patterns. Here.
favorite. Ooh, the controller gets quite warm. the pattern I was thinking of that I like. I saw that one. I think this is the one here. No, this is a bit. This might have been it. I could have swore they blink twice and then they kind of fade in, fade out, and get faster and faster when it comes to this. But maybe this is how it was. And I'm just remembering it wrong. So this appears like it would just be a steady on. And there's this. And there's that. Unless this is the mode here I'm thinking of. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and we're gonna see.
This isn't it. Well, we can burn. That's not it. This might be it. So if this is steady on. This might be the mode I'm thinking of, right here. This says mixed. So I'm thinking it's either mixed or it's combination. supposed to be considered sparkling. So this should be a combination. Let's see if combination is what I'm looking for. Because this might be it. I think this one is it. I should go into that kind of other one where it's like super fast. See, there's this one now. doing the sparkle, or the in wave as they call it. Sparkling is the one that I like, where I like all the patterns combined. Of course I could recreate this myself too. With an Arduino and some components. One could have a hell of a lot more choices than just this. We included 16 chain um, effects.
we go. Yep, this is the mold. And then they'll fade out and they'll fade back in. I think. Yeah, and then they fade in. So these draw. So it's combination I like. So this is steady on. And we're out draw about 55 watts. setting. This combination right here. So that's where we're going to leave these. Let's go into that box with the LED because it's the uh, effect LEDs as well. Oh, I'm almost out of space. It really doesn't take long to put all the space on that phone, does it? Let's find the loose bulb on this. Wiggle every bulb until it starts flickering. These really don't draw much power, these ones. They're only drawing 15 watts. No, we haven't fixed them yet. So it's over there somewhere. Oh, now that's a cool bowl. I have never, ever seen a bulb like that before, where it's two colors. That's fucking cool. We got a green that's out, we're gonna replace that for a red. Actually, the pin might have just been shorted. to be intact, so I think the pin for the lot the the wires were just shorted. Strange. Oh, you know what? It was like that because the bulb is bad. That's right. Yeah, that bulb is shot. Now, I only have red, so I'm going to put a red in place. close to the failing, the failing area. Oh yeah, it's right at the end of the spring somewhere.
Just check all the bulbs though. Got another failed bulb. Again, it'll have to get replaced with a red for now. Looks like on top of all my failed mini lights. Well, not all my failed mini, mini lights. I'm gonna have to pick up some red for the failing mini lights. And here's the the ball bulb that fault. It's all because these pins are just bent weird. Checking to make sure that's the only fault. Power draw has gone down to 14.4 watts. If it's not obvious, when a bulb blows, these actually draw more power. Because you're feeding a higher voltage into these and it will draw more current. This set, I really want to get as many of these sets going as I can. I'm going to have to order some white bulbs. We got a bunch of bulbs over here, but I think they're all blown. Blown or untested? I'll tell you right now, that one's blowing. Got some sockets here that might work. That one doesn't. And this one obviously won't. These ones should. Those ones work, but they're really loose, so I'm gonna have to tape the bulbs in or heat shrink them or something. Now what's going on with all these? Yeah, I think that was right. These are all blown. I'm not even going to waste my time with those. I'll just put red ones in for now. I bet you this will tell me if there's any other ones bad, though. Oh, they're there. So basically, my 
my plan with a set like this is to test each and every bulb. And I am turning this into a flashing set. these sockets are going to work. They seem too loose. Well, maybe the only ones I have that seem to fit. Maybe these ones. I bet you I need these long base ones. They're still missing bulbs? Oh yes, there's one right at the end that's missing. Please tell me that's where one of these big bases goes. Fuck. Well, I might have to do something I didn't want to do. Let's cut off a base. Still missing a bulb here. So I might just eliminate this base as well. I don't like doing this, but I can't find the socket. And I'm actually not going to eliminate the base. Instead, we're going to install a different base.
Again, I'm going to come through and I'm going to solder these off camera just because it's easier. Heat shrink them. So, when you see me twist and tape the, the wires, just know this is only temporary. I'm not intending to leave it like this. Looks like we still got bad one or missing ones. I need to be really careful because there's an exposed connection at this end that I need to finish and tape up that I forgot about. Until I just looked over and saw it. There's still something failed somewhere. Wow, that actually didn't fix it this time. Fail. It's looking like this guy right here. No. Apparently that ball's good. directly into the set.
thought there's no power at this socket. But there is past that one, okay. I bet this bulb's bad. Bulb's bad. It's not working. You know what? That doesn't work right either. Maybe it's just stuck. This might become a part set. Forgetting this has a tool to pull the bulbs out. Does this bulb even work? Yes, yes, it does. works and why isn't it working in a set? I'm suspecting there's something else going on here. Easy way to confirm this is flip this. Now we got no power anywhere. 
So let's work our way back from this end. Nobody's surprised that bulb is bad. At this point, I might as well convert this entire set to a red set. Also a little bit suspect with this bulb. Is this motherfucker really I'm gonna answer him right now. I'm a little bit busy. God damn it. Late if you're watching this, I'm busy when you're calling me. That's creepy. One second. And be creepy to my other friend, which is in my party. Oh, did I see that light for a second, or am I going crazy? I must have been going crazy, because that bulb don't work. socket go. Oh, do not tell me. Do, God damn it. I did. Oh my god, it actually worked. Now that blinking ball was going to be a real pain in the ass.
Well, it's not perfect, but... At least they work again. We dumped a screwdriver bit into there, that's fun. We're going to keep these ones separate because these are the good bulbs. Just in time, because I'm about to run out of space on the phone, so I'm going to go clear it off now. I might fix that last set. If I do, it's going to be its own separate video, so thanks for watching. Uh, I still don't have space on the phone, apparently. That's better. we got more part sets to look over. These are all broken ones that I literally just moved. But these are all my last part sets. And that's, uh, that's not necessarily good to have in a pack of Christmas lights. I don't know why that's in there, but apparently it, that was. There's just a lot of junk in this box as well. Well, we got more light strings and broken crap. Exactly, just to make sure we're not missing ends. Which, that's just a chunk of light. This is also just, a ch these are just chunks. Is this all good? Damn bulb's not even any good. But is it shorted is the question. Yeah, bulb's shorted, so it's no good. What about this random bulb? No good. Also, before we move on to those, this set stopped working. There's no power in the set, it seems. Let's put the plug. So now there's power. So I'm going to flip the plug. Check all the way at the end here. There's, there's no power. Is that usable? The fuse blew. To take out, I don't think it took out both fuses. But I'm still going to check both fuses to see if it's blown. Okay, so that one's the blown fuse. Yeah, this guy took out that one's that one's good. Fusing, uh, it's just a force. Yep, that one's blown. 
See if that fixes these. Sure enough, it was just a blown fuse. Wonder what caused the fuse to blow. I'm gonna have to run the room all over here pretty soon. So we've got all these bits of scrap. up some of this crap. At least the stuff that's worth keeping. Which isn't very much of this, but... Let's move on here. Let's check these mini lights out. So I know I'm missing a bulb right here, which that's an easy enough fix, I might have a socket. Maybe one of these white sockets will fix this. to bypass or replace the socket, I think. I think I got a bunch of spare sockets left. socket. And again, just remember, whenever I splice into a set like these, these become indoor only. I will not put these outside after I cut into them like this. Look at my face. There it is. Thank you. 
I'm just swap the socket. Is that a fuse I see? Is this fuse good? Yep. I think. It's good to use. This is all that's wrong with the set. Every bulb in the set could be blown for a while. I don't think I ever had these ones working, so. Fair enough, they don't work. Because there's a second bulb missing. missing bulb is towards the end because then it's just I don't want two sockets that don't look right in the same location. You can tell this is an outdoor rated set just by how thick this wire is. I'm oh, sorry, how thick this insulation is. They work now. Of course not. Why would it work that easily? That's not supposed to happen. Ow. This socket's busted too.
now I need another socket. bulb went to air. It looks like it, looks like it broke. So, all white on the inside is the filament evaporated. A couple of missing bulbs. the way this set looks. We're not plugging that in. Don't have to because it's missing bulbs anyways. So that, that's a part set. We're going to come back to this one. I might be able to get one more working set. let the Roomba run for a bit. Come on. Go. See if it'll vacuum up all that crap. Looks like it might. Well, we've got another set to fix. Now I'm not crazy hopeful for this set working. As I mentioned outside, these are like cheap Dollar Tree lights. The plug on this one is all corroded. I'm 
they're all faded. And there's like, I don't know, 10, 25 bulbs there. Sure enough, these ones don't work. I don't know, I'm going to sit here and waste my time on these. Or if I'm just going to pull all the bulbs. Big surprise, neither of them work. This set needs is a good zap. Let's try it the other way. No. What if I replace this bad ball? In fact, we're going to replace the bad bulb on both sets, but... I'm not crazy hopeful that my two and a half volt bulbs here are going to work. I hope that's not out of this set before I rip the ball out of it. Okay. This set still works. With that being known, I can sacrifice this bowl. This is going to be the blue ball. doesn't light. Oh, it lights really, really dim. So that bulb might be too low of a, or too high of a voltage. What the hell is this set running at that that's too low? Both like that. So it seems almost as if this set uses a higher voltage. Yeah, this set uses 6 volt. And it says 9.7 watts on the meter, and this is supposed to draw 9.6. Sure enough, this one just needed a bulb as well. This one actually does 9.5. So, if these ones are really faded, I don't know. 
I don't know if I'm going to keep these sets and just um, stick them outside again, or if I'm going to just pull the bulbs and throw the sets away. Obviously not that one. Obviously not that one. Got a plug on one end. Secondary plug. This one should be a full set, so that's the one we're looking for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to time lapse me pulling every single one of these bulbs. As you can tell, I don't think these lights were treated all that well. Like, well, those were pretty beat up lights. I take pretty good care of mine. Like some of these were the reason there's so many half sets like this where they're cut down the middle is because whoever had them before me had like one plug splitting off to three different sets of lights going in like a Y pattern and Oh, it's just a mess. So I I kinda cut them apart. I tested the sets I could and the ones that didn't work got thrown in that M and M's box. And M box being that one. And basically, they were my part sets. Well, if I needed a bulb, I'd go pull that box out and pull bulbs out of them. Now, with this guy, I don't have to do that anymore. I just have to go through and check every bulb and see what ones work and what ones don't. Started up a separate pile for it. And we're going to take whatever's working out of this set. And we're going to put it into those other lights. Yeah, I don't think that this one doesn't work. I think that the pins are just bent. Never mind, that ball is shot.
this is gonna be a slow process, so I'm just gonna time lapse it. Okay, so those bulbs there are all tested and working. I'm now going to sort them into piles of the three piles. I'm going to have a red pile, a green pile, and a, a white pile. So then all the bulbs there are just going to be like, what was I going to say? They're just going to be ready to go so I can just pick them out and put them in the pattern that I need for these lights. Because right now they're just kind of all mixed together and it's confusing. Well, that didn't take long to pick out all the bulbs, but now I gotta put them into the set. controller wouldn't turn on. I got that set fixed, but we got some leftover bulbs. So let's go through my sets and see. This one needs a new bulb. It actually needs two bulbs. Why are people blowing up my phone? I'm getting real annoyed. That needs a new bulb. There, all well, replaced. And then we need one on this end, all the way down here. That bulb's also bad. Which is strange because I checked most of these bulbs and they were good. That's a fully working set. I don't think these needed. They're all tangled together now. I don't think these needed a new bulb. Oh no, they need a new bulb. They want the end burned out. Oh, don't tell me I just threw away the socket that I needed. I think I did, so... Uh, it's just getting a socket that fits. Assuming I can even figure out where that socket just went. Bulb there. 
Yeah, well, Dad, I'll throw it in the pile just in case. Find out later. How do I lose a socket? There it is. Okay, those are all working. There's a small chunk of icicle lights that just blew a bulb, I swear. No, but I don't think those are going to last very long. They're blowing off the bright places. There's a really big set of icicle lights. And one bulb is out. I think that's it. Nope, two bulbs are out. Now these are just simple swap sockets over. These ones are kind of all over the place in terms of brightness, so... I suspect, I suspect we're going to have bulb failures on this set, too. Pretty early into the season. Like when I say early into the season, I mean probably within a couple of weeks. So this one's got a bunch of greens out. I only got three greens left, so... Hopefully it only needs, well, it needs quite a few greens. Which is a little bit unfortunate, because, as I said, I only have three left. Those are all bad. So it looks like for... In place of green, we're going to go with white. Just because that's what I have on hand at the moment. As I keep stating, I am going to replace all the white bulbs with proper green ones when I have the uh, bulbs. This one's got some reds out. That actually uh, that works in my favor because I have a whole bunch of reds. So I think it was just one red. This, this side seems to be all okay. Uh, no, we don't have anything else though. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Give me one second. Once again, this one's got some greens out.
bulbs bad as well. That makes that a complete set. That's a complete set. So, well, unfortunately, I'm not done yet. I am done fixing these for now. At least I'm done fixing the mini lights. From here on out, it's going to be working on C7s and C9s. I'm going to do a recheck and I'm going to populate any empty sockets. <laughs> 